Good morning and be fruitful. Good morning. My name is Gundo and I live in Johannesburg. You are welcome, sir. Please tell us your testimony. Uh, my testimony is of uh, there was a time when the man of God was uh, declaring and preaching that uh, he believes in miracle money. Amen. <laughs> And uh, he alluded on how the miracle money should come to you, that it should be traceable. Amen. Amen. So uh, with me on my line of business, uh, I work with different uh, international networking companies. So I advertise products for them and uh, I get paid a certain amount of commission. Amen. Amen. So, there's this other one that I had not been active with uh, for the past two months and three weeks. So, what happens is I've got my back office where I'm able to check uh, my commission leads conversion, and such things. Amen. Amen. So, uh, in the beginning of this past week, <coughs> something just said uh, I should check on the back office that I have with that company. So, when I checked there, <coughs> I realized that there was a commission there that I did not know about. Amen. Amen. So, so I was skeptical because I did not know how it came about because mostly when there's a commission, I would be knowing that, okay, it's because of this one, that one, and that one. So I spoke to my affiliate manager. I didn't ask her a lot of questions. What I did was... Uh, I told her that I was going to put in an invoice for the commission that I'm seeing on my back office. And uh, she said she would look at it. She looked at it and she said, yes, yeah, it's fine. Uh, I, can put it in, I can put in an invoice for the commission. Amen. Amen. So uh, the commission was basically for uh, one FTD. So one FTD is like one first time depositor. So I get a commission when a person uh, registers and uh, fund the account that they are registering in. So the last time I had checked uh, the value of my commission with that company uh, two months back was 550 USD per FTD. So, but when I checked there, it was now six hundred uh, dollars per FTD. Amen. 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 So, uh, I was asking myself, maybe you know, uh, I know about this. So I tried reversing and remembering where could it, who could have uh, funded their account so that I could get this commission and I, I had no answers to that. So I have put in an invoice and I'm waiting for the payment, amen. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like to thank God I would like to thank God for that. Uh, I would like to thank uh, our Father in the Lord. I'm a member of this church. Amen. You see what happens to members. <laughs> so, so uh, it's a great miracle, man. $600, maybe. Just to give you an idea of how much it is, when you convert it with the current exchange rate to the South African rent is 9,150 rents. So uh, it's not.
not small money, you see. <laughs> yes. Let us clap our hands beautifully for the Lord Jesus Christ. So my brother, please tell us at that moment where you were checking your, your balances and everything, how were you feeling at that point? Uh, I was, uh, because uh, to me it's, you know, your line of work, you'd, <coughs> you'd be knowing everything that is happening and all that. So it, it, it was a surprise and uh, hey, I was surprised. I was asking myself many questions. That's why I had to uh, just confirm with my affiliate manager if indeed uh, this $600 is part of my payment. Okay, uh, before I depart, uh, I just want to say that uh, I've been in this church for, okay, ever since its inception. Uh, when I came to this church, I was not glowing like I am now. <laughs> Indeed, we can see the glow on the face. Yes. Uh, I had clothes that, you see, when a shirt has been washed too many times and been worn too many times, <laughs> uh, you can see from afar that, hey, yo, that shirt needs a helper. So basically what I'm trying to say is uh, things were not as they are today. Uh, so there's grace in this church. Uh, the God of this church is a doer. You will see results. All you need to do is just to believe. Believe in what the man of God says when he's standing here. There are times where he would be saying things and declaring maybe jokingly so. Uh, and you would think maybe it's just a joke. And God is honoring every word that is declaring. So take it. Even when you receive prophecies, uh, it might be that after receiving prophecies, things become harder than what they are. But when the word of prophecy is dictating your situation, believe in that word of prophecy, for it shall come to pass. I'm speaking from experience. Amen. <laughs> Let us help our hands beautiful for the Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, it is the arena of fullfulness, as our brother is saying, that before this, he was not looking as he's looking today. You can see that the fruitfulness in this arena has now appeared in his life. So, our brother, you are advised to keep the word of God as standard for life, to maintain the blessing you have received from the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, better is not enough, but the best of the Lord Jesus Christ is yet to come. You are fruitful.